Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron, where awkwardness has ensued. We did grab this little bit of Spain over here, but we're not going to keep it. I mean, this is kind of pointless, right? It was just for the memes. But we're going to come on over here, and we're going to be attacking Haiti just as soon as we can here. And I don't expect that there will be all that much in terms of resistance there, but we are still quite a number of days away here. So we'll just continue letting that tick forward. Fantastic. And as far as all this goes, I mean, we definitely want to get this construction finished up as soon as we can. There's actually some infrastructure that we can queue up over here that I had no idea about. That is good to know. There's also infrastructure over here. I mean, we'll queue that up at the end of the list. It's unlikely that we'll hold this. I mean, we're still at war with Republican Spain. So, there's that. I mean, they're just going to take this territory. And that's okay. They can do that. At this point, we kind of want the Allies to start focusing on the Soviet Union and Japan. That would be very nice if they were doing that. Very, very nice indeed. But alas, they don't seem to be too interested right now. Now, are there any non-aligned nations over here in Africa that we could in invade? Maybe. I mean, we're already at war with these guys. Now, isn't that interesting? We could maybe get some sections of Africa. What are the resources over here? Not a whole lot. At least not currently. Okay. Most of the resources are down here. And this is kind of out of our reach right now. Anything currently held by the Allies is out of our reach. For the moment. But we'll see if the Soviets decide to make the Allies salty. What are they working on right now? Okay, fair enough. They don't really like us all that much right now. We're going to continue improving relations with the U.S. Wonderful. And I think that we're not going to do industrial land appropriation for right now. I think that perhaps... That's kind of pointless. Improving worker conditions is also slightly pointless right now, I feel like. So I guess we just bank up our political power for now. Not a whole lot more that we can do there. We could go to total mobilization. That would reduce our recruitable population, but honestly, we're doing okay on that front. We would have to bump up our war support. In order to do that, the way that we would want to do that likely would be war propaganda against Republican Spain. The UK is being jerks with Turkey, which we don't like. We get our chromium from Turkey. So that's not great, to be sure. I wish we could see what they had for troops over here in Haiti. Unfortunately, right now we can't. That's definitely something to think about. Okay, so the Soviet Union declared on Iran. The whole Comintern is going to join here. That's fine. You know, we could attack this Soviet bit up here. That is something we could do. National Defense Council of Aragon. Okay. Interesting. What do they have for resources over here? They do have a decent amount of steel. This is Morocco that holds this. And Morocco is the supervised state of the United States. So that's not helpful for us. Not at all. But we do want to take some territory over here. Basically, we want to take whatever we can. But I'm thinking about maybe making a mistake. After we clean this up, Maybe we should invade the Soviet Union. Like, it would be ridiculous, right? 
But we could maybe do it. If we could take the Soviet Union, or at least large chunks of it, look at all these resources. I realize this is literally the problem that Germany had. <laughs> but we're not at war with the Allies. We're at war with the Comintern. So there's that. We have to wait until Haiti has capitulated. There's no way around it. And that's a long journey. Can we even plot a an invasion that far? Yes. Yes, we can. So this would be the idea. It would be ridiculous. And probably an enormous mistake. In fact, almost certainly would it be an enormous mistake. So we're going to delete this order here. And we're going to assign these guys over here. What? Hmm. Well, that was definitely a mistake as well. <laughs> so we're going to deselect our units that are over here. In fact, we already have them deselected. We're going to move them into a new army. We're going to delete this. I had the wrong army selected, clearly. We're going to put in this guy as our general here. And he is going to start planning a naval invasion. Like that. All we need to do is get ourselves a toehold over here and let the supplies start flowing and set up some naval blockades, right? In theory. I mean, I feel like this is biting off way more than we can chew. A non-aggression pact from Iran, I accept. Okay, how long on this over here? We can actually go? Okay, we're gonna go. Where's our navy at? Our navy is going too. Perfect. They are, of course, in naval invasion support mode. So let's see what we can get done over here. Hopefully we don't just grab this location and nothing else again, because that would be more stack wipes happening. So let's go ahead and grab Logistics Company 4. Make sure that that's good to go. Now this is interesting. We're actually winning this invasion. That's wonderful. We don't even know how many troops they have. Okay, it's kind of soured over here a little bit. Three days. Iran wants to create the Iran Congress. I decline. So we lost in the north. We managed to take this here. Let's use these guys to support our naval invasion here. We have to take this or else this fails. They are moving in reinforcements, but we got it. Okay. We got it. We're going to delete all orders. We're going to put in a, fr a front line here. And their goal is to offensive line like this. The fact that we have this port here. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. I just want to see how what level this fort is. Level 3. Okay, so we do have some supply flow here. Not a lot, but enough. Haiti actually just capitulated. Perfect. Okay. So that gives us a free dockyard. We're going to toss that once again into our convoys. We're going to rework our fleets quite soon. We're going to need to import some additional steel from the U.S. for right now. We are importing too much chromium, so we're going to back off on that. Okay. Now, these guys. They are going to come over here and help out with a naval invasion like so. Their goal is to take this choke point. Just like that. Okay. Now, we're going to move this fleet... Their goal is actually not there, but their goal is to come up over this way and cover, like, all of this, which is slightly absurd. Like, I doubt that we can actually do that. But that's our current goal. <laughs> like, I don't think there's really a scenario where we get the fleet or the naval superiority to pull this off. But we'll see. 
Okay, we also need to talk to our Central American and Caribbean Coast Guard units and tell them, hey, you also need to uh, start up some area defense over here. Okay, so that's minimum divisions 31. We definitely need some more Coast Guard troops. The Iraqi people state has capitulated. That's expected. And we have some more troops being recruited here. That's great as well. Okay, so Haiti has fallen. The question is, is there any way we can pull this off? It's going to be a long front. And they're going to shift a lot of troops. I mean, I'm well aware that this is almost certainly a mistake. Extremely well aware of this. I don't think we're going to launch this anytime in the near future. I'd like to have our Navy online a little bit more. And of course, to do that, we're going to need to continue to increase our companies here. So I think for now, we're going to kind of chill. Like, what else do we want to do here? Well, we need to get our Navy rolling. There's no doubt about that. So let's think about what we want to do. We have plenty of convoys for right now. We can bump back our number of shipyards making convoys to one. Then we can add in... Let's see here. I guess just really crappy submarines for right now. Something like that. Let's also work on any infrastructure we need to, including this up here, which I was pretty sure that I queued up, but apparently I didn't. Good to know. And, I mean, yeah, we're going to lose all this. That's expected. That's completely fine. So in terms of our construction here, we do have a little bit that we're working on, and then once we're done with all of this... Then we'll start working on that infrastructure, which is very important. Don't get me wrong. We want to get this infrastructure built. There's no doubt about that. We're going to assign this guy into this Coast Guard. In fact, all three of these are also going to go into that Coast Guard. We definitely need those troops. These are all infantry divisions. Perfect. And do we have a commander available for this? Yes, we do. There we go. Wonderful. Let's hop into this theater. So if we look at this, insufficient naval supremacy in regions. So that's expected, right? So what we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to switch these ships out. So we're going to need to split this force like in half. And in fact, I want to group these back together. I want to select, I think, all of our cruisers here. These are in need of some amount of repair, but that's okay. In fact, that's their experience there. So we're going to take all of our cruisers here. Every single one. I wish I could just select all cruisers. That would be nice. But alas, that I, as far as I know, that's not a possibility. We just double click? No. Okay. So we're just going to grab all of these cruisers. And again, we're going to be redesigning our ships quite soon as our technology starts to roll in. But that's not really a thing that we can do at this exact moment. So we're going to pop these guys into a new fleet. And, uh, not sure where our old fleet went. Exciting. Very exciting indeed. I remember this being fiddly. Uh, we're going to just try to is our fleet at? I mean, I want to select all here. Yeah, I forgot how to handle this. <laughs> Fantastic. So this guy does need a commander, obviously. He's currently assigned to another fleet. Wait. Do we have another fleet? Where is our fleet at? 
this is our fleet here. We have this fleet, and we have this fleet. Okay. That's good to know. We're going to group these together and assign this guy in. Okay. Next, we're going to try to assign just this from the selected task forces. Okay, so we need to... What is the button here? Create a new task force, like that. So this task force here, we'll select, and we'll put here. Okay, that's what we needed to do. I forgot how fiddly this was, for sure. So we're going to reduce our number of light cruisers here down to something like 10. And then the number of submarines in this one is also going to be at zero. And then over here, these guys, they are going to want 99 light cruisers for now. And they're going to want some submarines. 99 of those. Okay. So in theory, these ships are going to come over here. Perfect. That's what we wanted. And I want them to work on patrolling. Not like that. I want them to work on patrolling in all of these regions. I know it's a lot. I'm well aware of that. We do need some additional steel. We'll grab some from the US, of course. We're very, very reliant on the US right now. And these guys, they are going to remain on naval invasion support in these locations. There we go. Okay, something kind of like that. That'll do for now. So, I mean, we need a lot more naval power. There's no doubt about it. We're working on it, although not super hard, if I'm honest. We could definitely be working harder on this. Can we build any additional naval dockyards? Well, not currently. We're kind of maxed out. But we will be able to later on, and that should probably become our priority anytime we are able to do appropriation in a coastal location. There's our hunter-killer groups finishing up. We're going to go ahead and grab Floating Fortress. And we're also going to want to do some more research in the naval areas. So that will be helpful as well. So, of course, we can't currently launch this because we have insufficient naval supremacy in three regions only. Which is kind of surprising. Kind of surprising indeed. We don't have any carriers right now. Those would be helpful. There are no air bases over here. And I'm assuming that this is a Soviet Union port here. Yes. Yes, it is. This is Japanese up here. We're not at war with Japan. Dangerous naval invasion. What? Oh. This is fine. Spain is just invading over here. They can do that. <laughs> I was going to say... A naval invasion is not really something we want right now. That would be somewhat problematic for us. But we're just recruiting up and we are working on filling out our number of modern tanks. We're down to only needing 6,000 of those. So that's progress, I'll say. <laughs> we're also getting close to finishing up this building project over here. I do want to kind of top out priority on repairs in those locations there. Do we want to fortify our coasts with like, uh, or just fortify our borders in general with forts and coastal forts? We can, but I feel like right now is not the time for that. Japan wants to invite us to the greater East Asian co-prosperity sphere. Again, we are not ready to join that. The major issue there is we're very reliant on the United States right now. We want to take over the Soviet Union so that we're not reliant on the United States anymore. I realize how insane that sounds. Just absolutely bonkers. Four to eight million manpower. We don't know what their army intel, or what their army deployed numbers are, but I'm willing to bet they have more troops than we do. They have a similar amount of factories used in, used for tanks, though. So. 
They have a whole lot of infantry equipment being produced. So they're very reliant on their infantry. I mean, that's fine. We are as well. We can continue building tall with industrial land appropriation, and I'm going to do that right now. So we'll get that done, and let's see where that construction is. Uh, that is over here. Perfect. We're definitely going to build a dockyard. And we're going to top prio that. Perfect. Let's check in on our operatives here. Of course, we're just squelching opposition right now. I want this guy over here, and I want this guy probably over here right now. Okay, sounds good. We definitely want more steel. That is what we really need right now more than anything. Steel and chromium. We do have some chromium coming in on our own. And that's fine. There's a decent amount over here. There's some over in this area as well. Particularly in Cuba, there's a lot of chromium. So that's all well and good. Let's check in on our trade here. We're actually able to back off on our chromium order a little bit. And we're definitely going to do that. But we need 364, or rather 376 steel to make up for our steel deficit. That's a lot. Chromium we're doing better on, but it's not fantastic. We absolutely can't declare on the United States until we have a replacement for that. And I think the Soviet Union, that's the place to go for it. Separate fire mains have finished up. We have a modern tank brigade here. And that is going to be assigned to this army. And we're going to pull this infantry division over to our Coast Guard. Okay. Now I want to check and make sure that these are properly assigned. Where's the actual label on these things? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, let's see what this guy's doing. Yeah, he's moving up to the correct-ish position. And then he's going to hop into the water after that, presumably. So we're going to do the same thing here. This infantry division will hop into this Coast Guard. And then this infantry division will also hop into the Coast Guard. And there we go. So we are going to also make sure that we are grabbing our deck conversions here. We want to start getting some carriers. We don't have carrier planes either. So that's something we're going to have to consider. We are up to 225 factories. That is a good sign. But I would definitely like to do more land appropriation. Now, we need to be worried about our base war support and stability from that. But that's okay. We can continue doing things like war propaganda. Logistics Company 4 just finished up. That's great. Do we have any other of these support companies that we want to keep researching? Not right now. So I think instead we're going to come over here and start working on grabbing additional researches in this tree, in the naval tree. So let's go ahead and grab, say, passive sonar is okay, but let's grab smoke generation for now. Excellent. And if we look at the factions here, we can see that this is pretty much all allied over here. We're not aligned still. This is allies. This is common turn over here and over here. It's the common turn that we're at war with. Noticing that Siam is still neutral. It's fascinating. I don't know how they managed to survive the Japanese onslaught, but sure. How are we doing over here? I mean, poorly is the answer. We're not shocked by this. These guys are going to continue hopping into this maximalist Portugal. The anarchist commune of Portugal. Now, isn't that interesting? Portugal is now at war. That is actually fascinating. That's a whole lot of tungsten. We're not involved in this war as of right now. We're going to keep an eye on it. 
we're going to continue working on our modern tank requirements. It's gone back up. That's not surprising, considering that we just deployed some modern tank brigades and had to resupply new ones. In fact, I'm going to back this off to two divisions of modern tank. And this one is, of course, going to come up here. And we're going to move these guys over into this Coast Guard. That'll be fine. But it's resources that we need. Badly. Now, they're not at war with Republican Spain currently. That finishes up our maintenance company, of course. And we are going to continue working on all of these various technologies over here. I think we'll go for ladder shooting for now. Fantastic. And, of course, we need additional steel. Sure. We'll go ahead and grab some more of that. So how are we doing on our construction at this time? We did just finish up some of our repairs. And this one still needs to be repaired. We'll just go ahead and top that one off. Fantastic. Repair our two military factories in Haiti. That's kind of the top priority, though. Okay. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. In next episode, we are going to see how this ends up playing out. This is going to be really, really weird. I don't think there's any way around it. The United Kingdom is preparing their strategy indeed. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time. <laughs>